What better way to share fascinating facts about the history of our country than putting Jimmy on the spot? Today's topic, the Constitution. You ready? Oh, oh dear. True or false? Okay. There are words misspelled in the Constitution. No, that's false. No, that no, no. Serious? Uh, there are, there are. Uh, it was, uh, according to constitutionfacts.com, the word Pennsylvania was one of the most glaring misspellings. It was spelled P-E-N-S-Y-L-V-A-N-I-A. -E Should have two ends. Yep, yep, okay. yep, yep. All okay, right. next. All right, Jimmy, take a guess at how long it took to frame the Constitution. Took to frame the Constitution. Mm -hmm, well, mm -hmm. I can take it downtown and get it done in about six uh, hours. That's not what we're talking about. Oh. Mm -mm. How uh, many? You mean like right the whole right, thing? Right, yeah, maybe. Give it a... Uh, a month. A month? Uh, close. Well, not really. You're not close. 100 days. <laughs> oh. Last fun fact. Want to guess the age of the oldest person to sign the Constitution? Guess the age. Age guess of the, the oldest age. person. How old was the oldest person? Old, you can get this one. This is easy. 76. Uh, no. Dang it. Yeah. Uh, it was actually Benjamin Franklin at 81. Jonathan Dayton of New Jersey was the youngest at 26. Framing the Constitution. For the Signing States. the Constitution, yep. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, okay. yeah. Listen, that is just the outskirts. That's the very edge. That's the fringe. It doesn't even touch what was written in the Constitution. For that, you'll want to pay close attention to what our next guests have to say. I'd like to introduce to you this afternoon Linda Bretzer and Larry Mayo. Larry is the uh, director of the Delaware chapter yes. and an instructor. And Linda, you're an instructor yes. for the uh, Institute on the Constitution. So, the Institute on the Constitution, what is that? The Institute on the Constitution is a nonprofit organization whose mission is to restore the Constitution of the Republic through grassroots education. What kind of things do you teach? Um, it actually starts from the very beginning at Christopher Columbus. Really? Yes, and all the facts about him and then it slowly goes up into the preamble, okay. Bill of Rights, and then the Constitution, and how they all fit in and how they all evolved each other and who was against having Bill of Rights and why, and who was for the Bill of White Rights and why. How about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So do you think a, a lot of history has been lost? Definitely. Um, we're, we're in the political state that we're in now because we haven't been properly teaching the Constitution for about 100 years. You can go to law school and get a degree in constitutional law and have never read the Constitution. Oh, my. Okay, so you're both instructors. Yeah. What will we learn? You'll learn what's actually in the Constitution. Mm -hmm. We don't teach case law. Mm -hmm. We teach the words of the Constitution the uh, history of the people who put it together, how we got to the to having a constitution. Okay. The very purpose of the constitution, which is to restrain our government. Okay. Hmm. It doesn't give us our rights. Our rights came from God. In fact, that's what separates America from the rest of the world. We're the only nation based on the principles that our rights come from God and the purpose of civil government is to secure our God-given rights. Huh, interesting. So Linda, you say Larry's love for God, country, and the Constitution, you say it's addicting. Yeah, the first time I met him, he was, I went to a meeting one night and he had a table out in the foyer and I never see him frown, never. <laughs> he's always laughing, he's always getting, when he talked about the classes are free, 12 weeks, two hours a night. The classes are totally free. And he just, he was telling me different things and I'm like, are you joking me? <laughs> and finally I decided to go. So what do you know now that you didn't know before? Actually, um, the framers, how Christopher Columbus, why they have Christopher Columbus, a big deal. Yeah. Um, the Declaration of Independence was the free was the original preamble to the Constitution okay. and what is all involved with the why we even wrote the Declaration of Independence, who was king at the time of King of England and why it was written and why they put in the Bill of Rights 
and just maybe stump you. So I'll, oh, here we, you go, here we go. Here we go. We do it again. What part of our government is the only part? Is the only ones who can create a law? Do you Which know one? Who? Which one? Yeah. Judicial? House of Congress is the only ones who can do a law. How about that? Mm. So if folks are interested in, in taking this course, how do they sign up? Uh, just email to learn the Constitution at Comcast.net and uh, we can get you signed up for classes. We're doing classes throughout the state of Delaware, everywhere from Wilmington on down to Roxana. Mm -hmm. And we're teaching both the U.S. Constitution, we're teaching the Delaware Constitution as well. Oh. In fact, that is a brand new uh, mm -hmm. course that's just coming out. I'm so excited about it. And it shows. Well, we'll have that information on our website, domarvalife.com. Click on what's happening. Linda Bretzer and Larry Mayo with the Institute on the Constitution. Thank you so much. For thank, thank you for having us. Thing.